mga kapatid. Isa sa pinakamakasakit, pinakamasaklap, at pinakamalungkot na dulot ng COVID-19 ay yung uri ng pagkamatay ng mga biktima. Most of them died a very, very lonely death. Walang mga mahal sa buhay na nakapalibot sa kanila. Walang humawak sa kanilang mga kamay at nagsabi, Mahal ka namin, huwag kang bibitaw, lumaban ka. Napag-iwan ng mag-isa hanggang sila'y nalagutan ng hininga. Wala pong pagkakaiba ang himutok at hinagpis ng mga biktima ng COVID-19 sa tangis ni Yesus bago nalagutan ng hininga habang nakapako sa cross. Diyos ko, Diyos ko, bakit mo ako pinabayaan? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Mga kapatid, natatakot tayong mamamatay sapagkat ayaw nating mapahiwalay sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. Natatakot tayo sa coronavirus dahil gusto nating mabuhay. Marami sa atin ay nakakwarantine, nasa isolation, nakakulong sa kwarto at gwardyado pa ng mga pulis upang hindi mahawaan ng COVID ang iba. Ito ay hindi normal sa atin. The desire to be physically near others, to be with loved ones, and in communion with them is part of our human nature. Nilika tayo ng Diyos na dapat may ugnayan at pananagutan sa iba. Ngayon, mga kapatid, maintindihan na natin yung tangis at hinagpis ni Yesus. Diyos ko, Diyos ko, bakit mo ako pinabayaan? Naramdaman at isinaboses niya ang kalunos-lunos na kondisyon ng kansang katauhan na nalugmok sa kasalanan. Sa halip na tayo ay parusahan, Inako niya ang ating kasalanan at ang kaparusahan nito ay kamatayan. The forgiveness of our sins required a perfect sacrifice by someone who is perfect, guiltless, and divine. Only Jesus could qualify to pay the price. Only Him could suffer in our place. The burden of our sins was fully upon Him. God cannot look upon sin, so He turned His back and withdrew His favor. The reality of God's wrath for sin revealed itself in fall. Isang doktor po sa Italy ang umiyak at sabi niya, ang daming namamatay sa coronavirus. Gusto ko silang tulungan at sagipin, pero wala namang gamot. Napakasakit, napakalungkot, wala akong magagawa. Parang nakatali ang aking mga kamay. God, who is love, agonized over the death of His Son. He has abandoned His only Son. At the moment of His Son's death, God has become, as it were, vulnerable and powerless. Parang nakatali ang Kanyang mga kamay. He chooses over His only Son. My dear brothers and sisters, in the passion and death of Jesus, 
we see two kinds of people, those who inflicted pain and those who suffered and endured pain. I have a cousin who has been battling cancer for almost 20 years now. You name it, she had it, from breast, uterus, lung, skin, and bone cancer, and she even had a hip replacement in 2014. She is in constant pain, but tries to live a normal life as much as possible with a smile on his face. She has an unusual prayer. Lord, today I am in pain. But for those who suffer from any kind of pain like me, please pass their pain to me to relieve them and give them peace. I can still take more. Let me carry and bear their pain. Amen. The cross of Jesus teaches us that salvation, healing, and new life can only come from the willingness to sacrifice and even suffer for the other. Love is real, genuine, and authentic, and Christ-like. When we no longer want to get even, to destroy, to wish evil on others, and inflict pain on them. But instead, we would rather choose to forgive, to suffer, to sacrifice, and endure pain. Then it becomes liberating, life-giving, and redemptive. Jesus did all that on the cross for love of us.